it's good morning and overnight my little dots that I painted on my tray dry and they look great and as I was looking at the tray this morning I, I noticed a few little places where I had smudged the paint so I got my little acrylic color and my little brush and I just went right over the mistake and it was gone that's what I love about acrylics you can just fix anything that goes wrong even way after it's dried so never you don't have to fear mistakes which I always do but and luckily I caught that and got it all fixed okay this morning we're going to turn the tray over and I have to do the bottom I kind of need to clean it again I see where it's gotten a few little scrapes and things but never fear I'll cover over it you'll never know it was there I'm going to to do this I'm going to put put it up high um, because this tray is uneven and it'll wobble I can't just sit it down flat and I may try to find something to make it a little bit lower which I will do with my little short paint cans that I use, my little sample pots that I buy that I use for wood projects, and we'll get started with that. Here we go. Because it's been sitting around uh, for a while, <laughs> being pushed around all over the bottom with me working on it, I'm just gonna wipe it really easily. I don't wanna take paint off. Okay, get the any dust particles or whatever and I went into my when I was organizing when I started painting or organizing my studio I got my big desk from Ikea it's wonderful and then I got these filing cabinets from um, <laughs> overstock.com and they're wonderful they have rollers on the bottom they have a big file drawer and then two small drawers and in the small drawers I keep my brushes and I keep my little pots of sample paints which I use like I said on my wood projects and they're the perfect height to put my tray on you know I'm always uh, I'm the whatever queen of figuring it out you know what is it? I'm a problem solver that's what I am now remember this was ten and a half inches I believe it was ten and a half inches across and it still is so I'm going to do my little gel pen, which I have handy here, and I'm going to go across the tray um, at every ten and a half inches, but uh, I'm just sitting here looking at this, and I can't see the measurements through this clear ruler, so excuse me while I go get... All right, now, you know, I love being a novice because you can get by with this stuff so it's an inch and an eighth uh, that I'll be making my little marks and I'll move my ruler down where it's right on the inch and go an inch and an eighth and I'll do this all the way across and you know what it didn't turn out exactly the way I wanted it to and this happens so Guess what I do? I get my trusty little Q-tip, dampen it, and off it goes. It's not fatal. I know what, I, what, I, what I'm gonna do. You know, you learn all these little tricks and then you forget them. But I'm gonna measure it from this side um, over an inch and an eighth. Then I'm gonna come over here, go back this way, an inch and an eighth. And then at least I know it's going to be even stripes on the sides um, and then I'll, I'll count if I have to adjust it I just go from side to side it's just what I like to do keep doing that working towards the middle and then if the middle stripe is either a little wider or a little narrower it won't matter One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and now this is going to be in half. Just make sure this is that's uh, 
two and a quarter. So an inch and an eighth, how about that? Absolute perfection. That's how that worked better. All right, I'm going to pause this camera and go to my close-up camera to show a little bit of close-up of this for people who really, really want to see it up close. So, switching cameras. All right, we've gotten one side, the little marks across. Now I'm going to turn it around on my trusty Lazy Susan. And I'm going to do the same thing on this side. I'm going to start on one side and go over an inch and an eighth, make a little mark. And I'm going to go back to this side and do the inch and eighth. And then I'll work towards the middle and it'll come out better. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So I need two more. So this particular part right here has got to be in half. Okay, that worked out. Perfect. My other thing is doing the gel marking across the tray. And I found this little ruler helpful. It's got a thing where I can put it, on, if I have a flat edge or have it where I can do this, I just put it on and put it on my markings. And I know that it's going to be straight across. Hmm. <laughs> I told you nothing's perfect. <laughs> I think I'm not going to use that. How's that? I'm just going to use this ruler to connect my dots. And trust me, the way I paint is not going to matter if it's not completely and totally even because I blur the lines a bit here and there. And this uh, gel marking just gives me, uh, you know, where I have a little bit of something to go by when I'm coming across with my brush so that I don't go too wacky out of the way. Last night, after I finished videoing, I went up. You know, it goes from my camera straight to my computer and to my iPhoto. Because I use a Mac. I have a MacBook Pro, which I love. And it goes right into there, so I was watching the video. And, you know, you start hearing all the <laughs> background those noises. And I heard this squeaking. And I bet you heard it too. But you know, the video's done. I'm brand new, spanking new doing this. I've never done anything like this in my life, except painting and jumping out of airplanes. Um, all right, so I've got my lines across. And I heard the squeaking, as I said. I thought, that's my chair. That's my swivel up and down chair. So I ran upstairs and got my silicone spray and I sprayed my chair and guess what? It doesn't squeak anymore, so that's good. So now I have my stripes and actually, I'm gonna have to stand up if I'm going to paint these. So we have the nine, okay? So I'm gonna start, I want it to be white. So this is gonna be white and every one will be white. And it ends in white. So the odd number gave me where I start and end in the same color, which is so important for me anyway, because I'm like, you know, I'm, I lean that way. I have to have everything balanced. It's balanced. There you go. Balanced, like in The Karate Kid. Balance is the key to life, right? Now we're going to get Martha Stewart's paint. And I needed my little container to do that. Remember I told you that I put my paint in a baggie so that it won't dry out. And this has been some days now since I first started doing this project. So here's my little container that I put my paint in. And I'm going to see how it is. It's perfect still, but I'm going to add some to it. Whoops. <laughs> 
you know, I learned it doesn't take near as much pain as you think. I'm always having to scoop it up and put it back in the container because I don't want to waste it. I get a pretty good amount of paint on my brush and I will just put it on the edge and it'll start coming down. And it probably won't last all the way across, so I'll have to get some more on there and finish it. I'll go back up here and come all the way down to smooth it out. You see that little bumpy edge there? It doesn't matter because it just doesn't. It doesn't matter. It will all, it's all going to work out. Like I said, it's all good. Now, this stripe. My little gel lines are just a guide so that I don't get my stripes too crooked. There, now I'm going to come down and make it all nice and one line. Keep doing this all the way across. I'm just kind of weird on things that people can pick up and look underneath. I just have to paint the bottoms too, just the way I do things. Now, now we've got our stripes all the way across the bottom. I will soak my brush because I don't need it anymore. And my thing of water. This needs to dry before I can do anything with that. But in the meantime, I can. Um, do some embellishing on the black part if I dare. I'm just going to put some paint on my little notepad here. You don't need a lot, and I'm about out. Gotta go get more of this before I do any more. Alright, let's just see if that'll work. Where's my brush? Alright. So, down the middle of the black, or wherever I decide, I'll start doing this. And this doesn't have to be straight. In fact, I kind of like to be a little wiggly. doesn't look so hot right now, right? We gotta get it all finished up. But now it really has to dry for a while. Acrylics dry pretty fast, so I will be back in about an hour.